It is Friday, but uh, in the old days with the live streams you used to be cam. So let's talk about some of the new cam turning features that are inside of Fusion 360. How are you doing? And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Today is Friday, it's cam, and it's about turning. So first of all, if you're like me, that you're coming from a manufacturing background, and this whole CAD thing might be somewhat new to you, well, just remember one thing. When it comes to anything round, we really like to uh, to use the revolve feature. Just just keep that as a principle. Anything that is round inside of CAD, use Revolve. So for example, if I go up here and I start a new sketch, and I'm just gonna pick one of these planes to draw on, hit L for line, and the trick here is we're only gonna draw half, half of our profile. So I'm gonna go ahead here, I'm gonna draw a line over, I'm gonna go about, I don't know, let's go about 200, 200 millimeters over or something, and I'm just gonna draw something up here that's not gonna be too fancy. Go over here, about there, over something like that, and close it off. Now you see when I close it off that it changes color in here. That means it's the full enclosed body. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that it returns black. And the way we do that is we hit D on the keyboard for dimensions. And we start placing dimensions. So we agree I'm going to make this one 200. Let's go ahead here and make this 90. Um, we maybe decide that this thing should be 25. This should be 50. And um, what else? We probably want to make sure that there is some kind of a control angle on this one. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, make this one here. Let's make it 50. I'm also going to make sure that we control the length of the slot. Let's make it 35 like that. Now you will see there's still entities that is blue and some of them are black. The easiest way to find out what's going on is hit escape till you have that white mouse cursor. Grab a corner and start dragging your, your, your corners around and they will give you an idea about what, what you're missing. So besides using dimensions, we're also going to use these different constraints. So if I go over here and say, we're going to make this one vertical, you'll see that one turn black. I might go over and use something like colonia by saying that this line and this line should be um, at the same height. And then again, you will see that there's one here that keeps on being blue. And if you're holding down your left mouse button while you're holding on to a point, you will see that it's probably missing some kind of a link. So D for dimension. And let's make this one 30. Now everything is black. That's what you always want to go for. Talked about it before in some of my videos. When I started out using CAD, I thought this was stupid and I neglected to do it. It was a $500 mistake. All right, let's revolve this. So we're going to, whoops, going to revolve. I'm going to select that inside area there. And then you select the axis you're going to revolve around. And then now you have your revolved body. All right. I hope this was useful for somebody. Let's just get into it here. Let's go ahead and change into the cam environment. Hey, it's Lars from the future. Well, not really, but what you've been watching was recorded last weekend. And of course, the cam developers pushed out a new update yesterday that came out with some new functions. So I just thought I would break in here, quickly show them to you before we jump back to uh, what I was going to show you in the first place. So first off, there is no more cam tab. It is now called Manufacture, and uh, this is part of some of the NetFab uh, tools that is coming into Fusion, so that is for Metal Additive. But, but that name change might not be so exciting. Check this out. If we go in and we look at a, uh, a profile cut, if we go and look at it like directly on the side here, um, you have some new options in here. If I go in and edit it, and we go over to your Passes tab, you now have a make sharp corner. See, if that is turned off, what is default? And let just the toolpath generate. Notice that when the toolpath comes up to a convex corner, a sharp corner, it will round, go around there. Um, but now with this new option inside of the profile, we just say make sharp corner. It will force that toolpath 
to go up and be sharp. So that is in the profile cut on the passes tab. Now the next one is exciting to me. If you have an internal profile, your boring bar is now round. Um, for anybody, let me just show you that in, if we go in to do a simulation, it used to be a square block that wasn't a true uh, resemble, but now it's, it's round, it's good, it's, it's, it's better. The last one uh, that I wanna show you here in this quick update is for a parting operation. So if you look at the back of this for a, a, a parting off operation, if you had like a recess, it's kind of hard to see here. If you had a recess like you see I had here, it used to be that the grooving would just only come down to that edge. But as you can see now, we go normal to, the blue line will cut all the way to the center. So it's overriding what used to be a holding point was that edge. Now it will go all the way to the center. But it's actually better than that. If you go and edit this and go into the radii tab, uh, that is like the height tab for, for milling, where you can control how deep everything goes, there's now a distance to cut below in a radius. So if you look right now, it's gonna come right down to the center. But now you can actually put a value in here. Let me just over exaggerate the 25 millimeters and you will see that now it's gonna go all the way down there. So now you can actually control that your, your cutoff tool goes uh, a little bit past the center. Sorry, that was just a quick update to an update. And we always start with a setup and over to the right here, we're gonna go and turn that to a turn milling here. Now, a couple of things that is new that you should know about. And the first one I wanna talk about is the work cotton system in here. Um, so what is new is that it used to just be stock in front, a stock back in here, you could control where you wanna put that origin. But now there's actually a selected point. So now you can select any intersection on your part. There you can see that we can control wherever we want that, that origin to be at. So that can be super handy. You don't always want your origin right on the front. Maybe you want it, you know, it's better for you to have it right on the edge of that there. So that's new. Another thing that is new is that this has been changed. This used to be called a home position. It used to have everything to do with your home origin, but now you can actually also do it to the stock front or to the stock back, depending on where you wanna go. So this means that when the tool is approaching your part or retracting your part, where is it going to, to be the safe position? Again, used to be the origin, but now you actually have these options to add the stock front and the stock back. Now be aware of that you can override this, this area right here. So if we, for example, decide to go in and add a turning operation, so let's just do a turning profile on this part here. I'm gonna go ahead and select a turning tool. So what you will see on for each operation on your part, you can jump to the linking tab and here you can override whatever you set up in your original setup. So in original setup, we had set it uh, right now to stock front. Well, you can now change that uh, in here. So that is a nice new function in here. Another thing that have been added to turning is that if you go into turning a chamfer, so let's say that you wanna go ahead and add a chamfer to this edge right here. You will see in the passes tab that you can now turn multiple step overs or multiple passes on. So what they've done now with the multiple passes is that it will kind of like step down and take the chamfer instead of just one big whack. Now you can actually be a little bit more gentle in that. Now the last thing I wanna show you is if you go up and do a parting operation, so if you're cutting off the part from your bar stock, there's a new feature here on the geometry tab where you can select edge break. Now Mike Matera did a great job with the pop-up menus that comes out here. Primarily what you can get is you can get just a standard cut off the part, straight cut in, no edge break. Or as you can see in the drawing here, you can either add a chamfer to the corner of your part or a radius, so you can select that right here, either a chamfer or a fillet to that, that bag that's there. Hopefully saving you from what could be a secondary operation on your part. 
that was about what we had in store for uh, this Friday for uh, turning and cam. I hope you find this useful. If you do, thumbs up. If you don't, be honest, thumbs down. Love your comments. And uh, until the next time, I hope you have an awesome, awesome day and a great weekend. Take care, folks. Oh, 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 oh,